Hello, students and professionals. Let's welcome back another important session in SAP HD and DCC. So previously, I had a discussion about what is the basic difference between your scheduling agreement and contract. That is one of the entry question. Probably like it depends on the the shift of modes from your interviewer. Today we'll we're going to discuss about how to create a scheduling agreement. One of the student asked actually. So it is the same process, but as for Hana, you have a little changes. I have already uploaded one videos. I have done 360 uh, videos. If you want to, you can able to subscribe my channel here. You can see 371 videos. Okay, I'm forgetting nowadays. So let's try to get into the topic. Before that, you can see all these are the courses at my end. Sales and distribution in plain English. So it is 84 hours, okay? Day-to-day -day it increases. So I'm just trying to add this video also. And SAP S4 HANA, simple logistics. If you are not yet introduced it to BP, this is the right place. You can get into this course. I have explained CV integration detail with three scenarios, okay? And this is, if you, if you, if you have some doubts, Pricing is one of the dynamic function. This is one of my favorite topic I have done. If you like it, you can try this course. If you are not yet introduced to real time, how to write a functional specification. This is specifically used. I'm keep on stressing. This is for, useful for support projects and support enhancement projects and implementation projects, wherever you work, irrespective of any module, you try it. I have given a template. You try to write your own functional specification. That's what I'm saying actually. Okay, so let's get into other topics. This is for rebates and this is for rebates. And if you look at here, this is for SAP S400 intercompany sales and a few other things I would like to discuss with you. Okay, so if, if you, I'm just providing these links below of this video. If you want, you can subscribe my channel to get more updates and inputs. So this one SAP SD ECC or S4 HANA. Okay, so I'm just providing these links. You can able to join these courses if you have time to go. So as today, as per my explanation, scheduling agreement is trying to fix certain quantities in a month for a certain customer from company side uh, to not allow to monopolized by certain distributor or something like that. So that means the quantities can be fixed, okay? And uh, the delivery dates can be fixed in company perspective. And at the same time, customer side confirmation. And if it is the same product repeatedly, customer is asking on certain dates, you can able to save the dates. Probably we can do one video. What is the basic advantages of uh, scheduling agreement? So this is the transaction. Let's create transactional process now let's go to the sap so now go to va 31 this is the transaction standard ds is the document type okay let's get into this press enter so you give valid from and valid to probably i can give valid from starts from today and let's try to give validity probably like somewhere 27th of the next month. Okay, press enter. We're good to go. So this is the product I'm just taking, 100 quantity. Okay, so once we do this, we can able to fix the dates for customers actually. Okay, so probably what should I do? I can take 28th today and a harder quantity is 10. This is fine. I can go for next day, probably I can take 29th. I'm just taking 30th. So I'll take uh, like, uh, so maybe like uh, 50. So let's try to go for next month off. Next month off 13th, let me give the 7th. So, 80, 90, give another 10 actually. So if you look at here, here your dates and quantities and confirmation, everything will happen with one go. So 
for example, if someone is trying to do partial delivery, 10 deliveries on the same day, morning and evening, you can use the same schedule line and another six to seven orders. So like uh, your number ranges will be consumed like anything and you don't have confirmation for your customer, how you are going to create a trust. Scheduling agreement, especially useful in a FMCG, manufacturing and certain industries. Okay, so let's go back and try to check incomplete log. Okay, let's do this. Test, SCH, scheduling agreement. Let's save this. Okay, we're good to go now. Now let's go. You need not create sales order. Directly you can able to create the delivery. Okay, so suppose VL01N. Okay, this is the agreement. And this is my shipping point, 28th. If I copied this, my quantity got copied for 28th. Okay, so if I copied for 30th, so again, my quantity got copied. Let's try to do this. So let's try to keep it for 29th, 28th. Let's give the picking quantity. Okay. I'm just trying to do one partial delivery here. Okay. Let's do the post goods issue. Let's come here, try to do the bill. Okay, I'm just uh, getting a foreign trade in complete log. Let's fill the details. So let's go to the declaration, go to geography, and this one. Okay, let's set it. Let's go back, now double click on this. Here also, we might find some incomplete logs. Let's give this. Let's go to origin and destination. Let me try to fill. Okay. Let's set, save this. Okay, still we have incomplete log. Oh, this is standard, then you'll get an error. Why? Because my accounting procedure is different actually. Okay. So let me try to go to VOFA for the time being. F2, actually minus UF2. Okay. Let's uh, take out this procedure. So let me assign this procedure for the time being. <laughs> Okay, come here. See, now document created. Same process in your OTCs. Okay, let's go to VA33. Let's take check the document flow. Now see this scheduling agreement with reference to agreement we have created on 28th day. Let's try to create one more on same 28th, see, 10 quantity it is gone. So that's why it is saying 30th. Let's do for 28th, one more. Okay, let's do the post push issue. And let's create the bill. Let's say this. Okay, no issues. I'll handle this. How much you practice? That much, you will be perfect. That's what I believe in. Anything in your life. So let's say it. Go back. Double click. Okay, we have created. Let's come here. So let's do it for 30th. 
Okay, what is the quantity here? 10. I'm not going to create the bill now. Now I'm just creating one more. Let's try to create it for 29th. Okay, it is a 15, 50th quantity. Now let's come to the bill. Okay, same story. Let's save this, no issues. And VA 33. Now you can able to see this. Let's get into the document flow. Now you can able to see same agreement. You need not create n number of sales orders and false promises. So you can confirm the customer can pick whatever he want. The company can do the business, can gain the trust. That is the advantage of its scheduling agreement. Let's try to check what is the configuration, why we have this one scheduling agreement in next part actually, the configuration, basic difference. We'll try to get compare actually. Okay, that's all for today. If you are not just subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Better try to utilize my Udemy courses. And I wish you all the best. More importantly, Jai Hind. All the best, all the best, all the best, all the best.